Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Science For You. Hope all of you are doing well. In today's video, we will learn how to make a line following robot. The robot follows the line along any shape that you draw. I have used an algorithm which very effectively detects the line and follows the path correctly without missing it. I can assure you that after watching the video, you will be surely able to make this project on your own. This line following robot is able to follow even sharp turns and very complicated profiles. This robot uses two infrared sensors for detecting the line. If you are interested in doing such science projects, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. I will be regularly updating the channel with new interesting science projects. You can ask any doubts in the comments section which I will clarify immediately. Now let us see how to make this interesting robot. For this project, you need two numbers of geared motors, two numbers of 65mm diameter wheels, Arduino Uno board L298 and motor driver module two numbers of infrared sensors, a battery pack with two numbers of 18650 3.7 volt batteries and a caster wheel. The caster wheel has a ball inside it which can roll in any direction. First, take a plywood board and cut into the shape as shown. Also make two holes for the motor wires to pass through and also for fixing the caster wheel. The drawing template for the plywood is given in the description box. First, we have to fix the two motors on either sides as shown in the video. Now, fix the wheels on both the motors. Take the positive and negative wires of both the motors through the hole from below to the top. Now, we have to fix the caster wheel at the front. Providing a caster wheel at the front helps the robot to quickly change direction, since it has a ball that can roll in any direction. Fix all the components as shown in the video. While fixing the infrared sensors, make sure they are reaching close to the ground. Now, connect wires from both the left and right side motors to the L298 and motor driver board as shown. Now, connect the positive terminal of the battery to the plus 12 volts pin of the motor driver board. Also, connect the jumper wire along with it which will be further used for carrying over the battery supply voltage to the Arduino board. Similarly connect the negative terminal of the battery to the ground pin of the motor driver board. Connect the jumper wire also to this terminal. Now, connect the other end of the jumper wire connected to the positive terminal to V and pin of Arduino and jumper wire from the negative terminal to ground pin of Arduino. This gives the power supply to the Arduino from the batteries. Now connect jumper wires to pin numbers 4, 5, 6 and 7 of the Arduino board. 
In this project, we are going to use pulse width modulation for controlling the motor speed. So we have to remove the jumpers on both sides of the motor control pins. Now connect this jumper wire to the four pins at the center, IN1, IN2, IN3 and IN4 of the motor driver board. Now, for giving the PWM signal to the motor driver board, connect the jumper wire to the two pins ENA and ENB on either sides. Connect this jumper wires to pin numbers 10 and 11 which are pulse width modulation enabled pins. Connect the VCC of the right infrared sensor to plus 5 volt pin of Arduino and ground pin of the sensor to ground pin of Arduino. Connect the signal out pin from the sensor to pin number 12 of Arduino. Similarly, connect the VCC of the left infrared sensor to plus 5 volt pin of Arduino and ground pin of the sensor to ground pin of Arduino. Connect the signal out pin from the sensor to pin number 13 of Arduino. The connections are now complete. Now we have to connect Arduino to PC or laptop and upload a code. The code can be downloaded from the link given in the description. Now, let us do the testing of the line following robot. For the robot to work correctly, you have to first do the calibration of the infrared sensors. First, the sensor may not detect the line as shown in the video. You can see that the sensor is not changing the output signal LED status, which shows that it is not detecting the line. You have to keep the sensor close to the line and adjust the sensitivity of the sensor till it detects the line. Now, you can see that the output signal LED status is changing when it cuts across the line. The line following robot is working brilliantly. This line following robot is able to follow even sharp turns and very complicated profiles. Since pulse width modulation is used for the motor driver, it adjusts the speed of both the motors efficiently which makes the robot follow the line very nicely. The pulse width modulation works by sending signal of different time width to the motor driver board from the Arduino. The overall speed of the motor is controlled by varying the time width of the pulses. If you have liked the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch more interesting experiment and DIY projects in future. Thank you.